the dead body of two women has been found in the office of a notable doctor in Kwara State. This was a case of murder initially, but right now, it seems as though this might be a case of a serial killer. How does a certified medical doctor turn into one of the most gruesome, vilest, and evil serial killer of our time? This is not a story of early 2000, this is not a story of the 1990s, this is a story of 2022. The story of Dr. Abbas Adeyemi, a medical doctor who was first said to be a murderer, now known to be a serial killer. It's not clear when his killing spree began, but so far as at the time of making this video, it's been said that he may have started killing his victims from 2021. And just a little side note, this case is still very brand new. As we're speaking, the police are still doing more investigation. We should have waited, but I just feel it's good that we start up and follow this case as it unfolds because there are chances that more dead bodies would be discovered in the possession of this man. Dr. Abbas Adeyemi first made headlines in September of 2022 when he was arrested for the murder of a 39-year-old man named Emmanuel Yobo, a taxi driver in Benin City, Edo State. It was said Dr. Abbas had visited Edo State in July of 2022 and Emmanuel was the taxi driver he hired to drive him around. It's unclear what Dr. Abbas had gone there to do. Although, it seemed as though Dr. Abbas and Emmanuel connected because two months later, on the 2nd or 3rd of September, Dr. Abbas came back to Edo State, Benin City, and Emmanuel was the same driver he retained to drive him around. So clearly, the two of them sort of had a connection and according to Dr. Abbas, he speculated that he and Emmanuel had some sort of friendship and they had a chat and they conversed like friends. And I guess that would be no wonder when he came back the second time to Edo State, he still retained him as a designated driver. However, the second visit to Edo State would not be a glorious one for Emmanuel, who thought this was a customer or a friend, not knowing that this was the devil he was carrying in his tags. So on the 3rd of September 2022, during the second visit of Dr. Abbas, he and Emmanuel were said to be in connection. They were talking, it's not clear if they were in the vehicle, but according to Dr. Abbas' confession, he claimed Emmanuel complained about his leg hurting him. And in that instant, he decided to administer an injection on Emmanuel. And that injection eventually kills Emmanuel. Dr. Abbas then takes Emmanuel's dead body and throws it in the bush and drove his car to Oshun State. The initial issue was that Dr. Abbas first claimed that it was an accident, that he wanted to help him but it eventually killed him and that he did not mean it, that they were friends, yada yada yada, that he, there was no motive, which turned out to be bullshit because in the end, he drove his car to another state and also it was later discovered that he had driven a car to Benin City and had sold that car before killing Emmanuel and taking Emmanuel's car to Oshun State where some sources also claimed that he was also about to sell that car. So obviously Dr. Abbas had a motive for killing Emmanuel and his claim that it was an accident could not hold water because of what he did afterwards which was throwing his body away and driving away with his vehicle with speculations that he was about to sell it to. So clearly killing of uh, Emmanuel, the taxi driver, was deliberate. He meant to do it. He meant to kill this man. And he thought he was going to get away with it. Most likely, like all the other crimes he had been committing long before now. Unfortunately for Dr. Abbas, his time was up. Apparently, Emmanuel, the taxi driver, was his last bus stop. A few days after Emmanuel went missing, the family reported it and the Edo state quickly took action and Emmanuel's vehicle was traced. Thank God it had a, a tracking device and the police were able to track the device to Oshobo where Dr. Abbas was caught and arrested and in his possession, syringe and some medications that were lethal were found with him and even used um, injections also that he had used. Most likely the one he used on Emmanuel, the taxi driver, were the ones found in his possession was caught and the car that he had driven to Benin City to sell was also returned by the person uh, Dr. Abbas sold it to. And that was how he was slowly exposed. Who knows if it, this was something he was doing? Who knows if Emmanuel wasn't the first taxi driver he was killing and taking the vehicle? It seemed like a pattern. It seemed like something he was already into long before he was caught. Even though he admitted it was an accident and begged for forgiveness and was asking us to be patient with the law that he to go to court, yada yada, trying to act like he was somewhat innocent or he never meant to do it. It's not deliberate. It's never intentional. I know there's nothing I can say to bring back his life. If there's something I can do right now, even at the expense of my own life, to bring him back, I will do it. I'm a medical doctor, and God has used me to 
I never meant to harm him. When the story of how this doctor killed this taxi driver broke the internet, everyone was shocked. And they all just assumed this was a doctor who had done something really stupid and evil and you know he should be arrested and punished accordingly with the law. But nobody was prepared for what the police was about to discover. In fact, from here onwards, it only got worse. It was said while in police custody, Dr. Abbas' case file was open and let's say cases where he was a witness, where he was involved in, where he was among but most likely not the center character was brought up over again. It turned out that a girl had gotten missing and was found dead last year and he was associated with the girl and was named to be the girlfriend. It seemed as though the police brought it up again or maybe family of this girl who had always suspected him seeing that he was on the news decided to bring up the case again hoping that he would confess this time that he was the one who actually had a hand in the death of his late girlfriend if he blew up. And surprisingly, when the police brought the case back to Dr. Abbas, he admitted to being the one who killed his girlfriend, Ifio Lua, in 2021 and threw her body in the bush. Because it was said that Ifio Lua had gone missing sometime last year and a few days later, her body was found in the bush. And it's not clear how the case went, but the police did not have any lead. However, the girl's family always suspected that Dr. Abbas may have had a hand in it. And at this point, it was confirmed because Dr. Abbas confessed to it. So, after confessing that he killed his girlfriend in Fiolua, he told the Edo State Police that he is the chief medical director of Kayama Hospital in Kwara State. And that was how the Edo State, you know, the police, you know, they talk. The commissioner of police in Kwara State hearing about this man who was caught in Benin City, Edo State, and is in custody there, claiming to be the chief medical director of a notable hospital in Kayama decided to look into the files again, they decided to see what they could find about this man. They opened up his file there and it turned out that there was a woman named Nofisat Halidu who went missing in November of 2021. And the woman was said to have visited the Kayama hospital at around the time she went missing and she never made it home. So that was a case that was brought up at the initial time in November of 2021 up to even early this year in 2022 because the woman's husband kept looking for her and the police were doing their search they were investigating dr abbas was asked about the woman and he claimed she left the hospital after her appointment and so when the commissioner of police in Kwara state learned of dr abbas murder in edo state seeing that this man this doctor is a murderer and he's a doctor in a notable hospital they remember the case that had to do with the hospital that he too was involved in and so they decided to search his office in the Kayama hospital there in Kwara State. The police broke into his office in the Kayama hospital and when they went into the office, they checked around and the first thing they noticed was the newly tiled ground in a section of the office. They were like, okay, uh -uh, why is this part of the office tiled and newly cemented? Obviously, they know who they were dealing with at this point. This was not a doctor anymore. This was a mother, a serial killer who has been involved with a lot of people's lives who some have been missing. And that was when the police decided to break the ground and to their greatest surprise, a coffin was in it. And when they opened the coffin, it was a decomposing body of an unidentified woman that was discovered buried in the office. That was the first dead body they saw. Upon further search in the office, they saw a dustbin, a big one that looks like a drum, and they realized it was really heavy. Dragging it out of the office, the police officer opened it to see another decomposing body of a female. And when this decomposing body was brought out of the dustbin, placed on display, it didn't take long before this woman was identified to be the missing Nofisat Alidu, the woman who was said to have gone missing in 2021. It turned out that she never left the hospital. It was even said her husband was there with the police when the body was discovered and he was the one who identified the decomposing body to be that of his missing wife, who had been missing for nearly 11 months as we speak. Again, like I told you people, this story is brand new. It's happening as we are making this video. There is a chance that it would be updated. There is a chance that more discoveries about this Dr. Serial Killer would be made. They've only searched his office. They've not searched his house, his home, his compound. Only God knows what they would discover there. If his medical office that is a workplace contains two dead bodies, only God knows how many dead bodies would be found in his house. Aside searching his house, I would hope the police would look into every single patient that this man had treated who may have also died. 
because this doesn't look like someone who had killed only three people he seemed like he had killed way more he seemed very comfortable with killing he seems like he knows how to hide a dead body and it seems like he's gaining a lot from these people he kills because in his office the mobile phones bags of these female victims even their underwears were found in his drawers and possession clearly this man is a freak and i feel like this is just part one of this story this is just the part one of the murder mystery of the serial killing doctor, Dr. Abbas Adeyemi. I won't be surprised if a lot of his patients who may have died were killed deliberately by him because it seems very possible right now. It seems very likely. I don't know what else to believe in this case. This man is a devil. The man whose job is to save life and keep life is the one taking lives. I just feel like everybody who this man may have worked with, anyone who had lost a patient or a loved one, in the hands of this particular doctor should revisit their case and anyone who may have gone missing and is associated with this man still should be looked into because it seems that like there is so much more skeletons in this man's closet and like i've said this is just his office that they have searched i can't imagine what his house would be like so thank you guys for watching stay connected stay subscribed because this story doesn't look like it's over yet and i will be happy to make a second part once we have been updated of a new discovery which i'm hoping the police will do so give this video a thumbs up share with your friends comment your thoughts let me know how you feel about this does this worsen your trust in people even doctors the ones who are supposed to keep us alive because this is shocking this is something that could scare a lot of people so let me know your thoughts don't forget to turn on notifications. Should there be a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you guys for watching. Stay subscribed and stay following.